Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we are going to talk about the United Nations and what was invoked, what it means, what it actually accomplishes, whether it is going to actually produce the results that many people are hoping for, um, and, and where it goes from here. Okay, so if you miss the news and don't know what occurred, the, the chief of the UN, the head of the UN, invoked something called Article 99 and basically said that the situation that is occurring in, in Palestine, in Gaza, is something that is outside of normal scope and that it is going to cause a, just a humanitarian catastrophe if it is not immediately addressed. Invoking Article 99 is basically the boss of the UN. It's their way of saying, UN Security Council, you, you need to look at this. That's really what it boils down to. Um, at time of filming, I'm assuming that this will get cleared up pretty quickly, but at time of filming, it, there's a lot more... Uh, a lot more being put on this than actually exists. It is a method of saying, hey, you need to look at this. It does not force the Security Council to do anything. Um, the hope of the boss of the UN is that the Security Council is going to look at it and then make the determination that the situation is out of hand and call for a ceasefire. That's the hope. Um, whether or not that happens, I don't know. I don't know. Invoking Article 99 is, it's kind of like hitting the panic button. Um, it, it's, it's a big deal, and it is normally given at least, it's normally given at least a look. But as far as whether or not countries like the United States, who are on the Security Council, are, are going to follow the recommendations and do what the boss of the UN actually wants, that's kind of up in the air. Uh, the U.S. is taking a harder line, but this would be a this would be a giant step. Um, so we don't know what's going to occur. Um, it, it's, it's a pretty dramatic thing for Article 99 to be invoked, but understand that it is mainly symbolic when it comes to actually producing results. The question about whether or not the various members of the Security Council are going to move forward with it I would imagine that most people are going to say it's not going to happen. I am hopeful that the Security Council starts to take it a little bit more seriously. Um, in related news, it's worth noting that Israeli officials, after their push south, described yesterday as the most intense fighting since the ground offensive started. Um, there may, there may be a little bit more willingness on the part of Israel as well. I do, not, I do not believe that the move south is going to go smoothly. Their timeline exceeds the timeline that Blinken kind of indicated existed. So there, there's a lot of variables to this. I, I know that conventional wisdom says that the U.S. is going to veto anything like that and, and just allow Israel to do what it's doing. And the conventional wisdom may be correct, but I think there are enough variables at play right now to be hopeful for some other outcome. But we will have to wait and see. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.